Okay, whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Pat Hawk from Oregon State University and today I want to talk to you about how files are your friends. You know, when I was working for the federal government, I learned a lot about file documentation and I don't want to tell you all of those stories, but I want to give you a real simple example. When I look at our faculty members that go on sabbatical, think about that for a minute. They're probably working on their research projects, but they're not physically on campus. And when we look at our terms and conditions, it'll tell us we have to pay attention to if there's a reduction in effort or absence by more than three months from the project, not from campus, from the project. So let's think about this. What we want to make sure that we are doing is demonstrating in our files that that faculty member is actively working on their project. If they are, they're not going out and writing the next murder mystery. They're working on their project and they're monitoring their project in this day and age with all of our web-based financial systems. It's really easy for a faculty member to keep in touch with what's going on with their projects. So. We don't need to write the sponsor about a reduction in effort, most likely. We don't need to write about their absent from the project. But we are noting the file that the faculty member is on sabbatical and they're doing A, B, and C, and D. And we are done with that file documentation. And there it will be when that auditor comes three years, six years down the road that we probably won't remember that he was on he or she was on sabbatical and working on their project. So that is my quick tip for you today. Thanks for listening.